tie up you, Clarice. What are you going to do for me? Well, you confess to killing Scobie or you win a conscience. <laughs> Gerald, out. This way, Gerald! Gerald. Private conversation. Not on my watch, Spencer. Okay. I think love comes to everyone once in a lifetime. Strikes like lightning. You can't eat, you can't sleep. It's like a sickness, an obsession. I mean, with me and Alan Scobie, there was just this spark, you know? Chemistry. And I don't care who knows it, we fell in love. Got nothing to do with him testifying against me. I could live with that. Ali could do anything to me. But then he started dating someone else, a girl, Karen. Can you imagine how that made me feel? So worthless, so unattractive, so frumpy. <laughs> Susan, did you really think I was gonna confess to having Scobie killed? You're going to do something about that, Mr. Templeman. I've got human rights, you know. Scobie's set to testify. He's released. He's murdered. Case against you collapses. And justice is done, you know, natural justice. God's way of saying Dumfries fitted me up. How is old age, anyway? Still bitter and twisted. All that thwarted ambition. I've got 500 witnesses in here say I didn't kill Scobie. You've got one week. The smart money. It's on me. What makes you so sure that Scobie was a target? Meeting you. An innocent girl is dead. She doesn't sound very innocent. OK, you need to come out now. Oh, Davy, we're only talking. Please, you need to come Just out now. Just question. Oh, shit. Um, I'm sorry, out of there now, please. set up when I see it. You get left alone here with me, I make one move and you've got me banged up for another couple of months. Besides, my wife, she wouldn't approve. Toes! Exercise! Exercise, gymnastic, move it! You've got 20 minutes. Though I'm still not quite with you on this. Look, if we can get Grieve's phone number without him knowing, the next time he calls Fredericks, we can triangulate Fredericks' position, yeah? OK. Where is this bloody phone? Do you know, maybe he keeps it with someone else. You wouldn't trust anyone else. Better stone were here, he'd find it. Oh, that's really a big help, Yeah, well, I'm just a meathead in the sidecar, remember? We're missing something. What are we missing? Shit! What are you doing? It's only coming out of one speaker. of the art technology. Right, he's on his way back. How do I get the number? Dial your own phone and it will show. Right. Yep. Come on, you need to be out of here now. OK. Oh, come on. Got it. Come on. I'm deleting my own number.
Now we get Fredericks. Hey, Jill. I thought you were going to come and see me. Yeah, I'm sorry, Spencer. How the boys? Because, listen, I was wondering, maybe you could just bring them... No, I'm not bringing them to visit you. We agreed. Someone's trashed the warehouse. I'm really scared, Spencer. I'm on my own here, and I don't know how much more of this I can take. Yeah, listen, Jill, listen to me, listen to me, babe, listen. Scobie's gone. I'll be out on Friday. We're going to go on holiday. I promise you, we're going to talk all this out. Okay? Things are going to change. We're going to start anew. If right now. Right now, I need you just to keep it together. Okay? I love you, Jill. I love you. Broods on it for a couple of hours, then he calls Fredericks. Freddy, where you been? Yeah, sorry, Spencer, they wanted me. What were you thinking, can I scope in a hotel like that? I did what you told me. That's crap, Freddy. Now listen, you Jill and the kids need protecting. Get round to the house. The cops are crawling all over your place, and you still owe me ten grand. Yeah, you'll get your money, Freddy. Now sort it out. No way! I'm not showing my face near your house. I'm done, Spencer. We are done. And I want what you owe me. Shit. Now, wouldn't you much rather be us than Stone? Greaves played us for fiction, we're going to play him a fiction right back. As far as Spencer Greaves is concerned, Fredericks is still alive. Good, I'm looking forward to having a few drinks with him on Friday. <laughs> Clever Spencer. Two birds, one stone. You get Fredericks to kill Scobie, we deliver Fredericks to your door. The long arm of the lawless. Aid. I know you feel kind of inadequate in my orbit, but uh, why would I want Freddy dead? You owe him money. Oh. <laughs> he is not doing his job properly. <laughs> He's nailing your wife. Guess where we picked him up from? Your place. With Jill. And she looked well flushed. Freddy's gonna pull through, mate. And he's talking about talking. And we're talking about dealing. Face it, Spencer. Freddy testifies against you. Use your phone. In the hi fi speaker? Hmm? Isn't that invasion of privacy or something? You know, when I get back from my holiday, I'll have to have a meeting with my lawyers. Frederick sent you a photo message of Scobie with the girl in the square. We think her killer may be on it. Say please. The girl is innocent. Who says I'm not a law-abiding citizen? In eight hours' time, I walk. Another blot on your CV. Carry on like this and you'll be back on the dock handling. Oh, thank you so much. My pleasure. Go keep it. Yo, Adrian! Yo, Spencer. You know, we found a guy who shot Fredericks. Ah, it'll all come out in the trial. But if I were you, Spencer, I'd watch my back. Come on, Aid. With guys like you on the force, we can all rest easy. That's why I pack my taxes. 